What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on a new Android TV box with a completely new CPU which we have not seen before. So this is the Z66X Z2 Android TV box. So as usual we begin with a quick unboxing followed by our full performance tests including 4K videos, gaming, benchmarks and we'll see how it compares in our top TV box performance chart comparing it to other Android TV boxes. So this is everything you get in the box beginning with a user manual, a power adapter, an HDMI cable, a remote control and last but not least the TV box itself. So here it is guys the Z66X a brand new CPU. I'm quite excited to see how this one is going to perform. So you've got this cube shaped 3D design, nothing on the front, nothing on the sides and on the back of the unit we have an SBDIF port, a network LAN, AV port, HDMI out and your power socket. On this side we have two USB ports and a micro SD card slot bringing us back to the front of the unit and this is what the bottom of the unit looks like. So to give you guys an idea of the size, I'm going to bring in the Tanix TX92. And as you can see, they are more or less the same size. And in thickness, the Tanix TX92 is slightly thicker. So now I'm going to get this TV box hooked up to my TV and capture card, and we're going to find out how good it really is. I'll be right back. And here is the home screen and on this page you have a selection of useful large and small shortcuts. Most of these large shortcuts are fixed and cannot be edited. However, you can customize the bottom row of small icons by hitting the plus sign, selecting your favorite apps and they will immediately appear at the bottom. Now let's have a quick look at system settings. So this TV box has eight gigs of internal storage from which there are four gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running Android version 7.1. So now let's have a quick look at the system apps. Here are all the apps available on the system as standard. You have quite a few popular apps to get you started such as YouTube, Netflix, Miracast and the full version of the Google Play Store giving you access to thousands of free games and apps. So I tested out Miracast with my Samsung Galaxy S8 and it was very quick and easy to connect. It immediately mirrored my screen. There was no lag whatsoever. It was a very smooth experience. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I'm going to do this from the Kodi Media Player. So that was 4K videos, let's move on now to the YouTube test. So the pre-installed YouTube allows a maximum resolution of 720p, however if you install YouTube from Aptoid TV then this box will stream 1080p on YouTube and this is what the quality looks like. So that was YouTube, let's move on to the gaming test. So 
for you advanced users, here is your DRM info and CPU-Z shows that this comes rooted from default. Wi-Fi speeds were quite decent considering the top speeds I currently achieve are up to 30 megabits per second. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 21,702. So let's see how that compares with the others. So here is my top performing Android TV box chart for 2018, showing you all the latest Android TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So the Z66 has achieved position 57 at the bottom of this performance chart. Now if we compare this box to its own price bracket, then here is the top performing Android TV box chart for under $50. And again, all devices have been ranked by Antutu scores. And on this chart, this box has achieved position 15. You can view all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new Z66X Z2. So let's break it down with some pros and cons. So I picked this box up after seeing a brand new CPU to find out how good the CPU would perform. Bottom line, for the price you have just enough performance for streaming movies and TV shows. But realistically, if you look at the latest TV box chart, you will surely find much better options in this price range. Now this TV box handles most tasks quite well, but at the end of the day it does lack the overall performance. Now in this price range I would seriously be looking at the new MiCool M8SW. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. I will also leave a few alternatives for you to check out in this price range. That's all for this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one guys.